You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Nary here from Drake Queen Gaming. So if you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Hooked on You. This is going to be Wraith's path. I've done enough Wraith choices, so I think we're just going to go with him. The next play, we're going to be Spirit, and then they're going to be Trapper, and then Huntress, in that order. So, I like how that's a black swan. <laughs> but yeah, anyway guys, please sit back and enjoy me and you for the next 20 minutes, uh, 18 minutes, and let's jump right in. Alarm saying you're up, and let's go. Alright. After breakfast, you head to the hot tub by yourself to clear your head. Yesterday was, in short, a lot. <laughs> before you get through, before you get there, though, something catches your attention. You hear that? Who are you addressing? Me? Well, yeah, I guess. That is okay, right? I, you know, I might be pursuing a relationship with one of these four fine killers, but it feels like the person I'm getting to know the most is you, narrator. It's only okay in so much as it serves to illustrate that you've lost your mind, seeing how I'm not real and all. Yeah, I heard it this time. I think it's coming from behind the pool shed. No, oh, no, stick it in there! A little more, a little more! Oh, yeah, that's it! Yes! How does that feel? Intense. Nice. Yeah, it feels right. This is, uh... This is uncomfortable. Now, wait, you take that and put it right... Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Just like that? Exactly like that. I swear I had an idea, no idea these two even do, uh, whatever it is they're doing. I'm afraid to look. Yeah, please say something so they know you're close by and can hear everything. Uh, oh wow, look at this super cool bottle of Trickster brand suntan lotion someone left on a chair. Anyone know where I can buy some? Damn it! Oh, come on, a little privacy, please! Dwight is panting, and Claudette has a crazed look in her eyes. Sorry, I didn't know how else to let you know I was here, and that I could hear you, well, you know. You know what? What do you think we were doing? You were doing, uh, I don't know exactly what you were doing, but it sounded like, uh, fun? You think two people trying to find new ways to kill each other in a desperate search to make their own death permanent is fun? Oops. We get five minutes to ourselves every day, and we spend it hoping if we stab each other in just the right spot, we won't get resurrected. I've come to believe that the key is finding the exact place we need to bleed out from, and I believe that place is in our appendix. Why else would it be there? It makes sense to me. Did you actually think we were... me and him? Dwight? <laughs> you don't have to laugh that hard, they get it! My life is a nightmare, and yet somehow it's never been worse than right now. Let's go, lover boy. I know that our entry, entry wounds in our five minutes is up anyway. Good luck, Nary. You're going to need it. And hey, if you figure out how to escape the island, please make sure your ghost tells us how. That was both a tragedy and a comedy. A, a cragmedy. Shut up, I like it. Anyway, where were we? Oh, oh yeah. You're heading to the hot tub by yourself to clear your head. Yesterday was, in short, a lot. But so far today has been exhausting, too. But you're dedicated to achieving a true, centered self of calm, sense of calm. No drama, no bullshit, just soaking up sun in a heated pool. Today you're on a date with you. Ooh, I like that. I want to be on a date with me. Who would make the first move? And aside from that disturbing thought, all is going to plan until a shadow blocks your precious sun. Spiky tipped, like a palm tree is bending over to screw with you. But it's no tree at all, it's... Hey, babe. Breakfast was weird, huh? Everyone just getting up and announcing how they're feeling. What's that about? Some forced kind of check-in with the group? I don't like it. Fishy. Kinda lazy. Whatever, though. Breakfast is dumb. No one should eat before noon or after 4 p.m. Yeah, I do intermittent fasting. You've seen my abs, by the way. Maybe you can see them later at my private stage on the island. You know, Ip Island. Where all the Hollywood IP island, where all the Hollywood celebs hang out. If you play your cards right, I could give you a private show. And catch you around. His abs are pretty amazing, you gotta give him that. And the blow-up bat? Threatening but adorable. It makes for an interesting silhouette. Genius design. Hmm. <laughs> He's a psychopath, just like the rest of them. You don't give him, you don't, ha you don't gotta give him anything, and we're not best friends. 
Just because we had a little talk about doing a little talking, it's not an open invitation to go smashing the fourth wall every five seconds. Okay, now that that guy is gone and we've got some ground rules established that we're definitely going to abide by, it's time to lay back, take some deep, slow breaths, and... Nope, another shadow. These people will not leave you alone. Let's see who it is this time. Oh, oh, it's Wraith. That checks out. You two have gotten pretty cozy. <laughs> Hi, sorry if this is uh, too forward, but um, do you want to get out of here? I, I know a place that's, uh, it's kind of, I mean, it's got, well, it's hard to explain. Actually, it's kind of weird. You know what? If we want, if you want to go somewhere else with someone else, I totally understand. But if you want to see something weird and interesting, um, let me know. I guess you've been around Wraith long enough to realize that this rambling speech was actually him being incredibly brave and in asking you out. But before you can decide if you want to go off with Wraith, the Huntress interjects. Hey, just wanted to give you a chance to head out with me to a cute beach house instead of wherever this guy is going to take you. He'll probably read you some poetry and force you to learn about Petrov's chest defense. If, I mean, if you want to learn more about, more about some of the Russian moves, I've got you covered. Does she mean... I'm talking about Berenia, the traditional Russian folk dance. You all have your minds in the gutter. And if I'm honest, I love it. A tough choice. You weigh your options quickly, because you can only go on one date today, and you also don't want to be hacked to pieces for saying the wrong thing. It's always good to remember that these are all cold-blooded killers. But you know what they say, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. And then die a horrible, wretching, writhing death after drinking it because the demon, because the de the, the lemons were poisoned all along. And sorry, this island has really got me tilted. So who will it be? I'm going with Wraith. I I gotta go with Wraith. Wraith? I, yes. I picked you. Sorry, I stopped paying attention. I thought I was hallucinating, and now uh, really? Yes, really. Cool. No response from Huntress. Oh, God, he took me to the middle of the fucking jungle. <laughs> Here's my island hangout. This is what I call the Cosmic Dump. I know, I know. It's one of those first draft gonna change it later names that just kind of sucks. Uh, dump is being kind. It's a massive collection, uh, collection of seemingly ancient ruins that simultaneously appear to have been recently abandoned. And a little beat up. There's stone obelisks, strange carvings, ritual tables. Is that a... Is that a car? It's pretty weird, like a collection of things from, uh, different, uh, I don't know, places? You look around and off, then look at Wraith, expecting more of an explanation. There's a very long, very awkward pause. I can break the silence, try and look cute. Uh, damn it. Which one is good? Damn it, I can't save right here, fuck. Try and look cute. So, how? What's your... Just as you decided to talk, Wraith also worked up the courage to say something. How adorably awkward. You both stop talking, wait a second, and start talking at the same time. This is hard to watch! Next thing you know, you both start nervously laughing at how awkward this is. Wraith finally makes eye contact with you. After what seems like an eternity, Wraith finally manages an entire sentence. So, uh, do you... I mean, um, what... what brings you to the island? Uh... Too corny? Too corny? Maybe? You smile cheekily, you practically purr. You. Wraith covers his face and excuses himself. You get over here him doing breathing exercises and giving himself a pep talk in the woods nearby. <laughs> uh, I love Wraith already. He comes back, blushing. Sorry, I had to um check on P. Um, I had to go pee. Wraith looks at you with his with his always sad puppy dog eyes. Searching for something to say, anything to talk about, he clears his throat. Um, you remember my bell? I showed it to you yesterday. Of course. Wraith pulls it out. The bell, you perv! Well, uh, I think... I just think it's really nice you picked me to hang out with, and, um... Wraith gives it to you. The bell! He gives you the bell! Get your mind out of the gutter, jeez! I want you to have it. Please take care of it. You know how much it means to me. I promise. I'll take such good care of it. This is the sweetest gift. Wraith smiles, but even when smiling, his eyes seem sad. You smile back, knowing what a gift he's just given you. I mean, it's kind of shitty because you can't really do anything with it, but it means a lot. Not to you, though, to someone else. Still, a cool gift. You both search for something to say, anything to talk about. During the awkward silence, you look around the dump, spotting some kind of ritual table, stained with blood and littered with various bottles. Nearby is what looks like some dangerous potions. What was this ancient cult up to? Ooh. Looking up, looking to shake up this date? Is this a date? Yikes. 
Anyways, uh, looking to shake it up, you approach the potions and pick up a fa pick up the fanciest one. So, what will we do next? Drink that potion, power these potions out, drink that- Oh no, that's gonna fucking kill me. Let's mix those potions. You take the potions and start mixing them. Wraith will probably like a science lesson, right? Your new mixer starts to smoke as Ray Ray's eyes go wild. The glass explodes, taking out the other bottles in a domino effect of highly poisonous liquid and tiny sharp shrapnel. <laughs> Wraith runs in front of you and shields you from the explosion. Wow! You certainly know to, uh, how to make sparks fly! Whoa, Wraith had with a, Wraith with a double entendre. Kinda lame, but I'll take it. Wraith nervously smiles. He's endearingly awkward. So, uh, I guess, um, tell me about your family. Hmm. Uh, where should we go? Never mind. I have no family. I never asked for this. Um. I remember my parents. They were always fighting. Wraith size, one of those long wraith size. <laughs> At least your parents were around. I'd give anything to have spent more time with mine, even if they were fighting. Ouch, can't win with this guy. This has so tension in the air is palpable, or maybe it's just regular tension. Hard to tell with this guy. You look around for anything to distract you. <laughs> Hoping it might turn into something a little more hands-on, you lay back and look at the stars. It sure is a beautiful night. Wraith joins you and starts soliloquizing about the constellations. I can see in the dark, so I'm pretty good at picking stars out. How about you? You think you can take me on in a constellation trivia? Feeling invigorated by this slightly flirtatious challenge, you smirk playfully at Wraith. I've learned a lot laying on my back. Looking up at the sky, <laughs> that is. Okay, but let's see how many of these questions you get right. Deal! Question first. This constellation roughly translates to Sea Whale, and is located in a region of the sky alongside the other well, the other water-related constellations. Uh, I believe that is... Fuck. It's not the Big Dipper. I think it might be Aquarius. Aquarius? Wraith chuckles. Nope. It's okay. Maybe just need a warm-up. Okay, so it was Cetus. Okay, question the second. What do we call the constellations located in the ecliptic, or the path of the sun? What the fuck? I have no idea. Maybe the, Zo I think the Zodiac? The Big Is the Big Dipper going to be on all of these? The Zodiac? The Zodiac? Wraith shrugs. Okay, you got it. That was a pretty easy one. Last question. Question the third. This constellation was first described by Nicholas Louis de la Cale, de la Cale and roughly translates to Pendulum Clock. Uh, the pit. <laughs> the um, Fornax. The Fornax? No! Fornax was described by Lakel, but it means furnace in Latin. Oh, I guess that makes sense. It's my favorite constellation name, though. Mine, too. That's why I picked it. Even though Braith clearly sees through you, you still make him smile. Wow, you didn't do so hot at constellation trivia. Someone clearly never considered their place in the universe. <laughs> That was fun! Thank you! I feel like you're finally warming up with warming up Wraith, so you unleash the big guns. Uh, you wanna play Truth or Dare? Wraith looks mortified, but tries to keep it together. Maybe this is progress. Hum, I guess so, but only if I can ask first. Deal. Truth or Dare? Uh, let's do Truth. How about Truth? If you were a plant, what kind of plant would you be? That was a weird sound. Huh. Oh, shit. UPS truck. That's why. Okay. That's fine. Eh, they're gonna drop package off and we'll just go back inside. I'll go back inside, I suppose. Let's see. Uh, great question. Hmm. Great question. Great smiles. You're such a kiss ass. Uh, rhododendron? A very flowery description. <laughs> I thought it was funny. I don't think Wraith cared for it, though. Too bad you can't woo me. You can't. Um, okay. Dare. Show me something. Show me something. Show me something you never show anyone else. Well, you're about to see something many other people have seen. Wraith looking incredibly uncomfortable. I'm sorry, that's a bad dare. Too vague. It's just truth or dare. It's just truth or dare makes me feel like I'm just... Thank you for being patient with me. I just, uh, I need to try to be more open with people. Starting now. Wraith clears his throat. And that way, a lazy writer would make him would make him do if they wanted to sign signify something important. One second, guys. I'll be right back. Oh, sorry about that, guys. I'm back. <sighs> Guy wanted to uh, give me the package directly. Alrighty. And that way, a lazy writer would make him do what would do it would make him do if they wanted to signify something important and different was coming up. Let's see if we're right. 
Do you have my bell? I want to show you something. We were right. Take a drink. Is this not a drinking game? Damn, missed opportunity. Of course I have it. You reach for it. But it's gone! Um... Wraith furrows his brow. I swear I had it. I, I don't know what could have happened. We'll need it for... We need to find it for... But Claudette and Dwight burst in and interrupt. Seems like they have a very dramatic announcement. Oh, excuse me. We have a very dramatic announcement! See? Told you so. <laughs> but it needs to take place at the beach! Oh, no. Wow, okay. Uh, it's daytime now. <laughs> you arrive at the beach, but something feels off. You can't quite put your finger on it, but you feel uneasy and cold. Ah, and here's why. Spirit appears as if from nowhere. Hey, Nary. Bet you didn't expect this hot piece of sass. Oh, God. What? Goth girlfriends can't make silly, sexy puns from time to time. Look, goth girlfriends are awesome. Wish I had one. <laughs> Dwight and Claudette, scram! Yeah, I use these two simpletons to dupe you. You're easy to dupe, maybe because deep down you wanted to be duped. There's no way Wraith could be keeping you happy. Spirit's usual disaffected nature has given way to some combination of disgusted and desperation, and it's kind of working. Wraith's a fake. He's not even a real ghost. He only pretends he doesn't want people to care about him, but really, that's all he wants, and he wants it more than anything. Ugh, can you imagine wanting something? So cringe. I bet he won't even tell you his theory about this island. What a fake. You deserve to be with someone real. A real ghost. Someone who really doesn't give a shit. Someone who doesn't even care if you say yes or no to me. You see her through a desperate last minute attempt to win your affection. It's almost sad. You turn around and walk back to Wraith without so much as saying a word. Yeesh. You came back. You came back! No one ever comes back! Wraith is shook. And are those tears welling up in his eyes? You can't tell because he looks away. There's a sniffle and he looks back at you, beaming. I want to show you something! You follow Wraith to a corner of the ruins that you haven't, that you haven't seen. He brushes aside some dead leaves and branches, revealing a hatch in the ground. Want to do the honors? You open the hatch while with some effort and lower yourself into a long tunnel, grabbing onto a rusty ladder beginning your descent. Be careful! Yeah, no kidding, it's a rusty fucking ladder. You descend into a spooky, dimly lit room. It looks like an ancient ritual chamber with torches, tapestries, engraved skulls, and animal remains. On one end is a set of intricately carved locks and cuff mechanisms on the wall. A torture area? On the other side is a table with potions, books, and maps. Look at the wall. Hmm. Look at the map? Okay. You unfurl one of the larger, uh, rolled-up pieces of canvas, revealing a detailed map of the island. It's all here. Trapper's Cove, Spirit's Lighthouse, Huntress's Cabin. All the common areas. Even IP Island is up in the corner with little hearts drawn around it. I figured out the layout of the entire island. I need to know what it is I'm trying to escape from. Look at the book. You pick up one of the larger leather-bound books and Wraith walks over, opening to a specific page. You see incantation symbols, a drawing of, some, of someone chained to the wall. A different language you can't read except for the words... Cult of the Black Veil. Conveniently, those words are in exactly the language you can read. Huh. From everything I've found, I think these are the ruins of an ancient cult. They seem to be devoted to some type of ancient, to some type of sentient devil. Sentient evil. No, I'm not answering. Send a message. Uh, please text me. There you go. Alright, there we go. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or a tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!